on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show formatting scripture slides in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. Sorry, I heard a car in the background. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, one of the things that has bugged me for a while, and my church doesn't use this, we copy and paste scripture from other sources. So, it's just something that personally it's bugged me, so I haven't investigated as well as I should have, is how you format a slide so that the scripture reference is uh, formatted so that it can be different than the scripture itself. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you something I found through a tip um, published on the ProPresenter users group on Facebook. So you might notice that in ProPresenter the Bible text can be formatted, formatted differently than the Bible citation. So you might be curious, how does ProPresenter know which is which, and how do you create a template that way? No problem. First off, we're going to go to Template, and then New Template. And let's call this a New Scripture, just so that it's kind of obvious. Okay, first thing we need, new text box. I'm going to make this into a pretty generic lower third, but you can do whatever you want to make this however you want it to be. And let's, so let's get that uh, right there, and let's type in some sample text. Uh, for God, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that's a good sample text, I think. And now we'll go here, and I want that to be, let's say, 44. That's a better size, and let's make that bold so that it's a little easier to see. And that's good. Now let's add another one for the citation. That's John 3.16. Uh, this time I think I want this right justified. Still bold. Uh, let's click on that and make it bold. Uh, but italics as well. And let's move that down here. Here, right justified so that like Zephaniah has some room. So there we are. So that looks, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe tweak this just a hair, but you, you get what I'm doing here. But how do you say that this is biblical text and this is the citation? Well, no problem. Go here to this little thing. Uh, the, uh, object properties, I believe, and you see where it says name? That's where you do it. So we're going to click there, and biblical text, yes, Bible text it is. Now next we're going to go to, uh, having done that, we're going to select the reference and go to Bible reference. And really that's all there is to it. So we click that, and now you're, you're probably going to think that from there you just uh, right-click on this and select the template or click up here and select the template. I'm going to finish out here. And new scripture. And watch what happens when you do this. Yeah, not it at all. So actually what you want to do is you want to do this in the Bibles app, which you can get to right here. It might look like this if you have it set to floating. Or you can also get there from View Bibles if you don't have the icon, or 
control B if you can remember the shortcut. So we've got this here and so first we can select the template that we want to use with it. I could use you know one of the renewed vision ones. Um, I can or I could use my uh, template that I just created, New Scripture. And once you have that, then you want to put that down in, um, in your document. So you can save it as a document in and of itself, or copy it to the current document if you're doing sermon notes, or if you want it in the middle of a song, or what have you. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get out of this, and we'll see at the end here that here it is, exactly as it was before. So that's the way that you do that in ProPresenter 5 and ProPresenter 6. Uh, the version of Pro 6 that I'm using right now has a little bug in it, so that's why I'm showing it to you in Pro 5, but it should be the same in both of those. <laughs> You know, every time that I think that Renewed Vision has forgotten something, it's usually that I've just missed it. They seem to be really good, and this is a situation where it's like that. I thought that they missed something, and they didn't. So, just another example of how ProPresenter is really in-depth, how it has all kinds of features that are just kind of hard to discover, which is why... I spend all the time discovering them for you so you don't have to. By the way, I'm rolling out another course, uh, the ProPresenter 6 Operators course. Um, nope, that was the last course. The ProPresenter 6 Creators course, which the first course was all about, hey, just using ProPresenter in a live service. Designed for, you have a volunteer that wants to run ProPresenter, but... You really don't have to time to train them to be the best that they can be. Well, this will enable you to get past that limitation and get more training for them. Now, the other uh, thing is, well, how do you create the presentation that they're running? That's what this course is for. So maybe you're tired of doing it yourself. You can hand out this course to that volunteer that you don't have time to train, or you can uh, hand it off to all your volunteers so no matter the ministry, no matter the time, they can make their own presentation without bugging you. Maybe you're new to ProPresenter yourself and you wish that um, someone would help you learn all the ins and outs of the software. Well, that's what that's for. So head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter and I'll send you more information about that once you subscribe to my email newsletter. And maybe a discount. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I'm lying. Tell everyone. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. <laughs>